My name is Imran and today we're going to talk about the WordPress hooks, actions and filters. This is an extremely important series and I've got uh, uh, you know a big series of this. I've got a playlist which has got different actions, filters, hooks uh, you know uh, defined and uh, how to use them with live examples of the WordPress. Okay so this is going to be really interesting so let's gear up. What are hooks? So hooks are basically a generic term in WordPress that allow your plugin to hook into the rest of the WordPress by calling your custom functions at specific uh, times. So you know, there are different points in WordPress wherein WordPress has given us hooks and with the help of these hooks we can attach our custom function later on. For example, there is a plugin developer or theme developer who can come in later on if he wants to insert his own code at specific points in WordPress or if he wants to modify the data that the WordPress is inserting into database or outputting on the browser, he can do that with his own custom function and that custom function will be uh, you know, attached to that hook so that it gets executed at those points. So as in when we move on to our tutorial, we'll be able to know how these are functioning. Okay. Right, so why do we need hooks? Why are they so important? Well, let me tell you they're extremely important. Number one, because so that you don't mess with the core. Okay, uh, just think about it. If you go ahead and add your own codes into the WordPress core and later on if an update for the WordPress comes in and the moment you update the WordPress, you're going to lose all the changes. Also, if you're working with multiple developers on a big project, and if you make some changes to the core, you know, it will be very difficult first of all for them to keep a track and second is that, you know, if there is any update, if you make changes, you know, definitely you could lose that. And even if you keep a track for yourself, everybody may not be able to do the same uh, who are working on the same project. Okay, and uh, the second most important thing is that so that you can modify and add functionality to WordPress core. Okay, so you can add new functions uh, to WordPress. You can modify what it is actually doing. So theme and plugin developers will be able to add new functionality to WordPress core using these hooks at specific points. Okay, so there are different types of hooks. Uh, the first one is the actions and second one are the filters. Okay, so <clears throat> what are these actions? You know, what is action actually? So I'll explain that to you. So basically, action is a PHP function that is executed at specific points throughout the WordPress core. Okay, so basically, uh, we will do like a do action and provide a hook to it, into it, and then later on, if we do add action, we can go ahead and attach our own custom function using that same hook. Okay, so actions are basically the PHP function that will be executed at specific points throughout the WordPress core. Okay. What do they allow us to do? So basically, uh, for example, creating a widget when WordPress is initializing or sending a tweet when someone publishes a post. You can do all of that with the actions. Now filters. So filter allow us to get and modify WordPress data before it is sent to the database or browser using our custom functions. Okay, so filters again are functions that would allow us to, uh, you know, modify some data. So, so with that uh, filter hook, we are going to go ahead and get the uh, a particular variable. Okay, and we can go ahead and modify that variable, and we can return it back using our functions. So that data can be modified before it's echoed out to the browser or before it's inserted to the database. Again, uh, we have some examples like what you can achieve with filters is customize how excerpts are being displayed uh, and you can also modify your site title before it's displayed. These are just a couple of examples. You can do a lot of things with filters and actions. Okay. Uh, just a difference between a quick difference between action and filters. So actions allow us to run our code at a specific time when WordPress is doing something. While filters give us access to the data which we can modify and return the data back uh, using our customer functions. So as I explained to you earlier that uh, action will allow you to insert a code 
at a certain point in WordPress while filters would also allow you uh, to go ahead and get the access to a particular data in form of a variable and you can you know uh, latch on to that hook and go ahead and modify that data and your function will return uh, a new value of the variable which will be given back to that hook so that you know it can be used for uh, displaying on the browser or probably inserting into database all right so there are two types of uh, actions functions first is do action so do action basically executes our hooked function and add action is going to uh, hook our custom functions okay so whenever if you're writing a code if you're a developer uh, at certain points in your code you can go ahead and define the do actions okay uh, so that later on if a plugin developer or theme developer comes in and they want to extend the fun functionality or you know probably paste in a code uh, at that point in your set of codes then they can do that by add action so add action would allow them to access the hook and then go ahead and add and uh, you know their custom function to it similarly uh, in hooks we have apply filters which execute the hooked function and add filter which hooks the custom function so again you can give apply filter function uh, with a hook name at certain points and uh, probably before you output a data for example if you're outputting a site title you can go ahead and give that to apply filter uh, as a variable and that variable is passed to uh, the add filter function uh, with the same name of hook and that that variable is given to the custom function if somebody else comes in later on and you know defines their custom function that variable data will be available which they can modify and return it back and feed it back to add filter which will then feed it back to apply filters all right so the first thing we're going to talk about is the do action okay so wordpress uh, in its core has given us uh, you know do action at several points so that if you want to go ahead and add our own set of codes we can add it at that point okay so this do action accepts <coughs> several parameters first is the tag which is the name of the hook and second is the argument now these could be multiple arguments or they could be single arguments as well okay <coughs> so there could be argument one argument two argument three or they could just be one argument and we can make use of this argument into our custom function that's why they are there now later on um, so let's say we are developing a theme uh, or a plugin okay and if you want to go ahead and add some functionality to WordPress if you want to insert our own code at certain point in WordPress all we have to do is just find out what is the name of the hook uh, you know which allow us to add our own set of code at that specific point once we know the name of the hook all we have to do is just you know uh, go into our uh, plugin uh, or themes functions dot php and define a function called add action uh, put the same name of the hook which will be the same as in do action and we give the name of a function so this is string this is string and then these two are uh, integers so next is priority so priority is basically would allow us to uh, you know decide which function uh, attached to the hook will be executed first because there could be multiple functions which are attached to one hook you know for example you have hooked uh, one function to the same hook and there could be some other developers or you yourself have uh, you know hooked multiple function to the same hook so how do you decide which one should be executed first so that is done by priority okay so this is integer this is number so by default this is 10 okay so there are multiple if, for example there are multiple functions attached to the same hook the then the function which has got the lower priority uh, number will be executed first and if there are multiple functions uh, you know hooked to the same hook and if they have the priority count as the same for example both have the priority count as 10 then the function which is defined first will be executed first okay that's how priority works then there's argument count so as I explained to you earlier, the do action can have multiple arguments, argument one, two, and three. Uh, so you need to define how many, you know, arguments you're going to use. So by default, it's one. So if you don't mention anything, it'll consider that it's going to use only one argument. 
Okay, so in case if you want to use two arguments, you need to mention two. If you want to use all three, then you use three over here as integer. Okay, and the same amount of arguments needs to be passed to the function as well. So if you want to use two arguments out of the three, then you need to mention two arguments, argument one, argument two, into this uh, custom function of yours. And then in your custom function, you can make use of that those arguments. Okay, so how it works is that when the script reaches the do action, uh, into the WordPress, it's going to check are there any functions which are attached to this hook and if there are any it's going to find that function so it will come over here and say okay I've got one add action which is attached to this hook, let me execute that so it's going to execute this function uh, these arguments will be given to your custom function uh, depending on how many arguments you're using you can make use of those arguments or don't make, it's up to you uh, and then you whatever you want to do over here you can do that and all of the codes that you you know write over here is going to come and get pasted over here automatically if there are multiple functions going to check the priority and accordingly it will execute them one by one so your set so if there are multiple functions this function for example has got a priority of two this will come and get pasted all the codes get pasted over here automatically and then if there is another function with the priority of 10 that function code will be pasted below that so that's how it works Okay, so you can paste your own, you can insert your own set of quotes at this point using the tag name and your custom function. Okay, that's how it works. So let's discuss the next one now, which is apply filters. So apply filters are similar to the um, do action, except that it also gives us the access to a value, which is basically WordPress data. Uh, that we can use in our custom function, we can modify that data and return it back to the uh, apply filter, which will then make use of that value because this apply filter will return that value, the modified value, and then after that it will be used uh, further in the set of codes. Okay, so WordPress certain uh, several points has defined apply filters so that you know developers. Uh, can come in later on and you know modify this data value and uh, at cert certain points okay and this also accepts the arguments could be one two or three so if you want to go ahead and uh, modify this data uh, then you can just define add filter function into your own themes functions.php or uh, your plugin okay and then you can mention the same name of the hook okay and mention the same uh, sorry mention the uh, custom function name priority and the argument count so if you realize that uh, the add filter and add action accept the same amount of parameters what is different in this is that we will have access to uh, the value into our function automatically okay so not only we can have access to the arguments but also the value of the apply filters okay so what will happen is that when the script reaches over here okay uh, this value will be available uh, it's going to check are there any functions which are hooked to it if there are it'll come over here it'll call this function basis the priority and the argument count and then it'll come over here and uh, go ahead and use this value uh, we will go ahead and modify this value over here in our custom function and return that value once this value is returned it's going to be fed back to the apply filters and apply filter is going to return the modified value and this value will be used further in the our WordPress core okay so that's how it works so I hope this is clear um, if you have any questions you can leave the comment if you like the video please do share and subscribe uh, to my channel and um, also in the further set of videos you'll be able to learn all of this in depth with the examples as to how do we, these work in WordPress okay all right guys take care bye bye